Hi there, it's Michaela from Vacuums R Us in Arvada, Colorado. We hope you're all out there staying safe, and in these rough times we understand that some supplies are limited, including things like surgical masks. What you might not know is that vacuum bags can actually be used as an alternative. So today, I'm going to show you how to turn a vacuum bag into a surgical mask. The supplies you'll need for this is a pack of vacuum bags, a cloth measuring tape, a pair of scissors, some sort of wire, even paper clips will do, some kind of ribbon or string, even yarn, and finally a pen to mark with. What some of you might not know is that nowadays vacuum bags are made out of HEPA material. HEPA stands for High Efficiency Particulate Absorbing. This means it's going to filter all those little nasty bits out of the air for your vacuum, or in this case, for you. Take your vacuum bags and go ahead and lay them out. Now I took a cloth measuring tape and just generally measured from my one cheekbone across my nose to the other cheekbone. This would be the width of the mask you need. On average, most people are about 10 and a half inches wide. Then for the height, again, you'll have to measure from about the middle portion of your nose down to below your chin. For most people, this will be about five and a half inches. Now, go ahead and take the top part of your mask, so lengthwise, you're going to go ahead and fold it over just a little bit. Now this needs to be wide enough for you to go ahead and insert whatever wire choice you have on hand. You'll go ahead and sew this down. If you don't have access to a sewing machine, I found that this works evenly as well with something like hot glue or tacky glue. Once I'm done sewing the channel for the wire, I go ahead and just measure out a length of wire wide enough but not too long that it won't fit in that little chamber you've just made. Insert the wire inside that small cloth chamber and go ahead and sew or glue up the edges to keep the wire from escaping. Finally, you're going to go ahead and measure out two pieces of yarn or cord or ribbon that will help hold the mask over your ears. Once I've cut those off, I'm just going to go ahead and attach them to the top and bottom of each side of my mask, creating loops to go around my ears. We hope all of you out there are staying safe, and for your safety as well as ours, we will no longer have the doors open to our store. However, we do ship overnight free anywhere in Colorado, and we are open for drop-off and pick-up at the front door for things like vacuum bag supplies. You can find us on the corner of 80th and Sheridan in Arvada, Colorado, or at vacuumsrus.com.